This is a day in the life of an online culinary student. This is Bea, an online culinary management student from Toronto, Canada. She's currently taking up her fourth semester at Centennial College. On the weekdays, she wakes up at 8 a.m. to get ready for her classes. On most days, she prepares breakfast for the both of us. Now, since everything transitioned online, Bea doesn't really get to do hands-on cooking exercises, which was intended for her program. So, aside from her work, she makes sure to use her culinary skills every day, even for simple things like breakfast. Before the pandemic happened, Bea never really got the chance to cook breakfast because it takes up so much time. So we used to only eat oatmeal in the morning. But now, she actually has time to prepare food. So here's a quick glimpse of how that goes. So Bea, how long does it take you to prepare breakfast? Maybe like 10 minutes if it's this easy. But if Davi wants something more complicated like rice and some ulam, it takes like 30 to one hour. 30 minutes to like an hour. Got it. And do you always eat breakfast before you go to school online? No. Sometimes we have um, sometimes we have very early class. So we usually attend class first and then just have breakfast after. Can you eat during online classes? Yes. I have some classmates who eat in front of the camera and we're all we're all like, "Oh, that looks so good." Um we also want to eat some breakfast so yeah and in case you were wondering Bea is originally from the Philippines and she moved to Toronto last December 2019 now what you're seeing here is not the traditional Filipino breakfast usually traditional Filipino breakfast is composed of rice a viand or basically last night's dinner but with a sunny side up egg on the side but since we started living together we usually just eat two pieces of bread egg, and a side of yogurt with some berries and granola on top. We're trying to be healthy, y'all. Emphasis on trying. Okay, Bea, what are you doing now? What's that? Um, Nespresso pods. And in case you didn't know, Nespresso pods are these tiny capsules filled with coffee. Then you put them in an espresso machine, and with just a press of a button, you'll have espresso. Just like that. Super quick, super convenient. And what are you doing now? Just preparing some milk for the cappuccino. So we actually use a variety of milk ranging from soy to cashew to almond to oat, whatever we feel like drinking. Is this always how you prepare your coffee? Yeah, because Karen just bought this, this Nespresso machine, but before we used to uh, make our coffee using Chemex and sometimes just the regular pour over. Alright, and it seems like the milk is done. Wow, look at all that froth. Frothy, frothy milk. Now, Bea doesn't have any barista training, so she'll try to do a latte art just for you guys. Let's see how it goes. Latte art. <laughs> wow, what did you make? Abstract. <laughs> <laughs> and after all of that, finally, it's breakfast time. So this is when Bea and I just talk over some stuff. We just relax, we just chill, we just drink coffee. It's one of our favorite parts of the morning. And hey, can you really get this shot without a fake laugh? There you go. Now that breakfast is done, Bea, what are you gonna do now? Oh, I have a class now, so I'm gonna go to the study area. Alright, Bea, it's currently negative 10 degrees. Do you want a jacket? I guess that's a yes. Here you go. Wow, that was magical. Now, disclaimer, even if our heater is on, we just got into the habit of wearing our hoodies. It just feels so comfortable. And now, Bea is preparing for her online class. So the way that you access your online classes is you just go to your school website. In our case, it's my centennial. You look for your class and you log in using the Zoom link. So Bea, how are you liking online classes so far? 
so far it's okay very convenient although some of my courses for me should be um, in class because I study culinary arts so it's better to learn everything in person so that I'll be able to try it myself instead of online but because of COVID I can't do anything and the school can't do anything so as much as we want to go to the school we can't so we'll just try to utilize um, online learning instead of like complaining and doing nothing so I guess it's better than nothing Wait, how do you actually learn how to cook through online classes? How does that work? Um, so right now, we just have online classes. So the chefs would do demonstration of um, our weekly recipes. And then we are not required but suggested to um, do it ourselves. I mean, try it to do the recipe at home too so that we'll be able to learn and apply the techniques that they're teaching but of course some of the ingredients are very costly to buy so most of the time i don't do it but i make sure that i understand all the methods and the ideas of how to do it so i access all my classes using eCentennial it's the online learning module of centennial college so um, as you can see here these are all the courses that I'm taking for this semester so all I have to do is just open each module and go to virtual classroom and do all the activities and readings that the professors and the chefs requires so that I'll be able to pass the course so right now I will attend my um, international cuisine class you can just stay here and watch me while I attend the class Okay, so right now, Bea is actually attending her online class. Not sure how much we can show, but she's doing it on Zoom. And this is just the life of an online culinary student, I guess. You don't really cook, you just watch YouTube videos, and uh, that's it. <laughs> that's what you get. Hey, Bea. Is it required to have your camera on during online classes? Um... For us, not really. It actually depends on your professor. Some professors requires you to um, attend a class and make sure to, to have your camera turned on. But some, mostly our chefs, I mean, the culinary courses doesn't really require us to like show our face, so. And how long does a class usually take? It takes about an hour and a half to two hours, depending on the teacher. Mm, and how many classes do you have per day? Per day, I have at least one to two subjects per day. So while Bea is taking her class, I'll just give you a quick tour about the study area here. It's super small and it's right beside some clothes, so it's just a really quick tour. If you haven't seen our house tour video yet, this is a study area. And then you can just click the card above if you want to see that. All right, so we have a simple cork board over here. We have a wireframe with some of our pictures. Bea loves plants, so here's a plant right on the desk. And as you can see here, what Bea is using is a MacBook Air. And it's on a random white box that we found lying around. She's got her earphones. She's got a mouse that we got off of Amazon. And Bea loves water, so this tumbler is with her all the time. And right beside us are our winter jackets. So all of them are just here. Just right beside us, because we have no space. Oh, and it looks like Bea's class is ending. Let's see what happens. Bye, Chef. See you next week. Now that class is done, what are you gonna do now? Oh, right now, I will just try to finish all the assignments and case studies that's due for this week so that I won't have to rush and cram everything. And then later on, I have a meeting, like a short meeting with my um, group mate for this group task that we have in one of our, as one of our course. So, yep, that's basically my study routine nowadays. Do you usually have a lot of homeworks? I do because I have I currently have seven courses as of this moment and most of them has their own weekly assignments that's due every Sunday of the week. So I have like seven assignments per week. So wow. It's quite a lot, but some of them are just easy to make. Some of them are like small quizzes, like five item quiz or 
one page research paper or like case study. And do you prefer online or in class learning? Um, I prefer in class learning because I'll be able to like do the cooking in person and because that's how a culinary class should be but right now because of the pandemic yeah we can't do anything so but if i have to study like theory classes i think online class is more convenient because i don't have to go to school anymore and i can just contact my professors online and yeah i don't have to spend like transportation money to go to school so for online classes, what our school did was they actually uploaded everything online so that the students can see them ahead of time. But again, this depends on the professor because some professors, they upload things on a weekly basis and some professors, again, they just upload the whole semester online for you to have access to. All right, so it's 4 p.m. and Bea actually has a meeting with her friend about, you know, about classes, about projects. And uh, let, let's see what happens. Hi Chels! Hi Bea! Okay, so we can um, start brainstorming about our business plan. Now, the best way for us to actually speak with our classmates or groupmates is through online messaging apps. So you could use Facebook Messenger, you could use WhatsApp, you can use Microsoft Teams, and you can use FaceTime as well if you're comfortable with that. So even through this pandemic where everything's online, the school still wants us to connect with each other. Isn't that great? Okay, bye! Thanks! Alright, Bea, seems like you're done with everything for today. What are you gonna do now? So now, I will check on my plants and check if they need some water and trimmings. Then after that, I'll just read the book. I'm currently reading Onward. And then I will cook dinner for Dabby later. Now, since the lockdown started, Bea got into the hobby of taking care of plants. And now she has so many of them and they're all so beautiful. But let's ask her what this purple light is for. There's not much light here in Canada during winter time, so I got them these lights to be able to help them grow here inside. Because the days here are shorter during the winter time, so most of the time sunset is at 7:30 or like 8 a.m. and then um, the sun sets at like 4:30 p.m. So the day is very short and my plants need a lot of sunlight so yeah the grow light will help supplement the light that they need and after all of that Bea usually relaxes by spending some time on the bed and reading a book on her kindle she uses this time to wind down and take her mind off of school for a while so Bea, what are you reading so I'm currently reading Onward by Howard Schultz. It's story about about Starbucks, so it's very interesting. All right, so Bay is currently reading a book. Um, she's just basically chilling after attending class, after doing some homework, and uh, afterwards, you know, she's gonna cook or you know, she's either gonna watch TV or something. So we'll see. All right, so it's 5:30 p.m. and Bea is about to cook dinner. Let's see how it goes. All right, it's dinner time. It's time to eat again. This is what I love about Bea because she just cooks the best things, right? So right now she's making a mix for our fish and she's going to be steaming some broccoli. And you know, again, we're trying to be healthy. So she's always trying to make me eat fish, always trying to make me eat vegetables. And it's just really, really delicious, y'all. So good. And here comes dinner now. Wow, look at that. We got fish, broccoli, and rice. So, so delicious. All right, Bea. It's 7 o'clock p.m. What are you going to do now? So I will just butter Trisha, my friend, and ask her to watch a movie with me. We always, um, we always watch a movie almost every single night because we can't go out. So that's just how we hang out today. <laughs> So this is Trisha, Bea's best friend and housemate. They actually went to Canada together and what they love doing is watching Netflix. They actually end up watching for hours. So I guess this is where we end our vlog. 
And that was a day in the life of an online culinary student at Centennial College here in Canada. So now they're just gonna watch until late at night. So I think that's it for the vlog. Again, if you like this video, make sure to smash the like button, consider subscribing, and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss more videos like this one. Until then, we'll see you on the next video. Peace. Thank you.